Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Chifoko, this is the special interview on Prime Television Zambia. My guest is uh, Maos Gwaria Samba, PF President, and we are looking at the future of the PF. Mr. President, good evening and welcome to this special interview. Kelvin Chifokolo and Prime TV, thank you for coming home uh, to interview me. Uh, my former home was called Oba, my new home we call it Ona. Uh, Thank you for joining in and I'm privileged to be here. Uh, with me is my daughter. What's your name? Okay, what do you have to say to the viewers? Good evening and good night. Good night. Okay, go and sleep. Tomorrow is school. Give daddy a hand. Okay. Okay, babe. Thank you. I'm all yours. Thank you so much. And um, Mr. President, let's start with um, the boba and the bona. <laughs> Here yeah, you say this is Bona, is that English, is that Bemba? Everything is English. Mm. Bobai was on Leopard Hill Road as you're going to Berlin when I was mayor. It's still my house, personal house. Bought before politics. Uh, now, when I became, I stopped being mayor, the people of Berlin didn't know that I'm no longer mayor. So they would come at 6 a.m., Maya, Maya, give us this and that. And then I had a little baby. So we moved to the farms, uh, another property I've had, even before PF made government. It's a house in Bonaventure. Bonaventure, so we call it Bona. So this house, the new house we stay in now, in the farmland where you've come, thank you for coming, we call it Bona. Mm. We are looking at the future of uh, the Patriot Front. I know that there are matters that are very active uh, before court, they have not been concluded, and there are also matters that are pending uh, in Parliament, as um, the Speaker ruled that you continue to enjoy the privileges as uh, a member of Parliament representing the people of um, Matero. But the first question that I have for you, Mr. Sam, uh, Mr. President, is um, why do you think your colleagues in your party believe that um, you are a hired gun, you've been given money, and you're working with the governing party, UPND, to destroy your party? First of all, destroy, UPND destroy PF. Let me answer by starting with a question. Is it UPND that asked President Edgar Chagualungu to resign in August uh, 2021? Because the beginning of the vacuum at the top leadership of PF was because of my elder brother, my beloved president, former president of PF, my beloved former president of Zambia for seven years. On his own accord, he decided to resign a few weeks after losing the general election. Is it UPND that asked him to resign? And then the PF itself advertised that whoever wants to replace President Ed Garungu pay 200,000 kwacha. Kelvin, that's a lot of money. Me, I work hard for my money. <laughs> I don't steal from government. I don't steal from any individual. I cannot even get one kwacha that's not mine from anyone, from any company, or from government. I will not even sleep that night. I feel guilty. Even when I drop money, I find it in a shop on the floor. Instead of getting 100 kwacha put in my pocket, I go asking the owners. I even leave it with the uh, shop manager because I feel guilty. Now, my 200,000 had earned, saved. Uh, we were asked to apply and I applied. Is it UPND that told 
those who are uh, caretakers of PF to advertise for people to apply? No, it was PF itself. Um, the convention was supposed to take place, it wasn't taking place. Is it UPND that was asking those who are caretakers of PF to keep postponing? No, there's a traditional ceremony. No, there's a church service. We are postponing. No, today it's raining. Next week it will rain, we'll postpone. No, it's not UPND, it's the caretakers. And then sponsorship. I don't need sponsorship from anyone. I just need to understand the PF Constitution. The only thing that sponsors me is the PF Constitution. Uh, the people even claiming in UPF who oh, know it's sponsored, ask them before PF formed government in 2011, where were they financially and where was I? Ask one person in PF who I have never helped or given money. Nearly all of them, ask them if they've ever given me anything when we were in opposition. Point is, I didn't join politics a poor man. I'm a hard worker and I earn my money as a professional banker. So I don't need to be sponsored by anybody. I just need to read. KK took us to school. I'm well educated. I can read what the Constitution of PF says, what the Constitution of Zambia says. The two, the Constitution of Zambia, the Constitution of PF is what sponsors me. When you have a revolution, you are fighting a battle and the constitution is on your side. You don't even need money. You just need your mouth and your brain. So that's what is sponsoring me. Nobody is sponsoring me. Mm. Uh, let's go back to the convention, convention or an elective general conference, an ele uh, extraordinary general conference. And before that, let's talk about, uh, you are not the only one who paid the, the 200,000 quarter. Um, others paid, and uh, the day before yesterday, the, they were at the party secretariat, and um, they're saying, they are still in the game and um, they, they will be going to the general conference. Why have you decided to act, you know, to the contrary and just you when others still believe in the party and they're still holding on that very soon they will be going for a general conference? Kelvin, this is like a World Cup. When the World Cup comes every two, five years, when the World Cup is called, there's a tournament, like I gave last example. Uh, or in simplified in Zambia, the Independence Cup football is being played. Mm. Bankana and Wapawa. The cup final has been called. A team has been put together for Maite to play in Kana. Or, uh, and that cup final starts and it ends. The referee blows. Brrr, the game has ended. The team, those who didn't come to the cup final for one reason or another, uh, they cannot say they want their own cup final. The cup final for PF was on the 21st, 24th uh, October 2023 at Kenneth Kaunda uh, International Conference. Most people know it as Murungushi. Murungushi is the, the old building on the left, as we all done the new building, KK International Airport. The best I've seen around the world. Um, and what a day. When Zambia liberated itself from colonial masters in 1964, that day, the PF liberated itself from those who were imposing themselves as leaders. So the tournament finished, Kwamana, and, and the results declared Mao Sampa won amongst the candidates who were there. Those who, for some reason, I don't know, they need to explain for themselves. They can hold their own tournament they want, but in the, in the name of PF. <laughs> They, if, because I made it very clear, if they, they are still members of the PF, and they, they are saying they are still insisting that uh, very soon they'll be going to for, for an extraordinary general conference. Let them go, um, but the tournament is finished. It's, it will be a friendly. It will be a Madalas Chibuku United playing on Sunday after Hangover United. They can go and play, but the actual tournament for PF finished at KK uh, Conference Center on 12th August, and it's been authenticated by the court. They went to court. You know, like in 2014, when the tournament was played in Kawe, President Lungu came back saying he's the president who's been uh, uh, met PF president after Saturday. Some of us were aggrieved. Uh, we went and to court. That's the only solution when you are aggrieved in a tournament. You go to court. When you are aggrieved in a convention, you go to court. You put your case. 
And so far they have gone. Uh, Nakachinda was the first one to go. And he was given temporary relief. When we put an argument, the, within 24, 48 hours, the judge reversed and gave it in our favor. No, this one is the president of PF. Uh, Honorable Brian Mundubile, the right that he has, he also went back to court. No, Mao Samba is not president. We, we put in our, our arguments at, at, with facts. We caught the PF constitution, we caught the Zambian constitution. The judge read and listened to both parties and analyzed uh, our argument and the judge ruled only yesterday or the other day I said, and threw away on a and said, no, essentially saying Mao Samba is president. That's the only route, it's the court. So if anyone is still aggrieved, they should go back to the court. And where we are, the registrar of society has changed the, the, the office bearers. You have to show proof that you are elected, which we submitted. We did fingerprints, and they've changed the name. They've removed President Ed Garungu. He played his part. Since he resigned, the names were not changed for two years, and put Miles Samba. And the SG, they removed Davis Mwila, and put Morgan Mona, and others. We gave ordinary members of the party, like Monta, Munali, who speaks a lot on blogs. We made him to be a, uh, an office bearer. Uh, Petronella Nkumbula uh, from Kasama, who's worked there for years as a chair lady. We also gave us office bearer, many, many. <coughs> so it's not just from the top. So it's done at Registrar of Society. It's changed. It's like the title deed. When there's a house, which was the uh, whose title deed was in the name of President Edgar Lungu, when you do the paperwork and you show the registrar of lands and the minister, minister of lands, they change the title deed to Mao Samba. So the title deed is changed. You can uh, contest in court. So the office bears are changed. At that point, Kwamana, that's what happened in 2014. It tends to <laughs> History in PF tends to repeat itself. I'm happy, I'm happy that you've, you've mentioned the, the 2015 or 2014 <coughs> incident, and you are saying history gets to repeat itself. Have you been a bitter man? Have you been a bitter person now that you are reminding us of what happened in 2014, 2015, when others are saying you are dribbled? Is it a payback no. that you are not dribbling them? If you look at me last uh, uh, 10 years or 20 years as a politician, do I look a bitter man? Uh, as mayor, did I look bitter? Regardless of all the troubles I was getting from Honorable Sam and them, who were always stepping on me, stopping me from doing my work, um, I'm the most happy, happiest politician. I don't keep grudges. I'm just happy with the people. Wherever I am, uh, I'm happy. So no, I've never been bitter. But uh, I've known how we conduct our elections in PF, and uh, I followed the PF constitution, and the conveners called the meeting, and those who were present remember also that in PF, uh, the constitution says, all candidates to be president, you must uh, express your interest 24 hours before election. So those who expressed their interest 24 hours were there. I was just one of the many. If some didn't make it for some reason, it's, it's not me as a candidate's problem. Uh, if there are grievances, there's only one way to go is the court. Two have gone so far. Honorable uh, Nakachinda, he's not even honorable. Mr. Nakachinda, because he's not been elected. Only those who are elected before, you call them honorable. So Honorable Munduwile was elected twice, so I will call him Honorable Munduwile went to court. But both times they have lost. So if there's anyone who's aggrieved, the only way is to go to court. They can do as much petitions as they want. They can get one million people to sign. They will go nowhere. They will present them where. They can write to the SADIC. <laughs> is the SADIC now the one that will manage PF with the internal politics? They can go to the American embassy and meet the security guard there and present a million petition. It means nothing. The only place to go is the court. I went to court. I lost in court in 2014 uh, to President Lungu, and I sat. And I became a humble servant of President Lungu until uh, when he retired himself. I served him religiously. I served him humbly, 
I knelt before him when he would give instructions to me, I would jump up and say, sir, should I jump once or twice? Because he was the president. I'm a Christian. You respect uh, the leaders of the day. At the point he resigned, that's it. Then we look to new leaders. And now, as it turned out, I'm PF the president. PF is an institution. PF is bigger than individual. It's President Lungu taught us. PF is bigger than an individual. But now the supporters are trying to, of President Lungu are trying to say, PF is bigger than an individual except Edgar Lungu. No. PF is bigger than Mao Sampa, it's bigger than everybody. It's bigger than President Lungu. So no rules of PF should be broken for anybody, including former president like President Lungu. They have to follow the articles of the constitution. If you have resigned, you go, what does the PF constitution say? It says you apply. What does it say? You are given three years probation. And after that, the central committee considers you. You can't resign, go for two years, and then walk back, ah, I'm back. And I'm going straight, not to even remember, to president. Papa, he gave a reason why he decided to come back. It's uh, to protect democracy <laughs> and protect the biggest opposition, which those that are in power are trying to kill using students and opportunists. Democracy is what? Democracy is allowing is a, is a, a party or a government for the people, by the people, and it means people should cast the ballot on the president they want. So how do you know who the people of PF want? It's through elections. So him, he said he's coming up back straight without elections. No. He's, he's coming to protect because his mandate, no. which was given to him in 2021, is up to 2026. But he gave so it, he's still a president. He gave it up in August 2021. But your party, your leaders didn't accept it. Who are leaders? Who are leaders? The Central Committee. There's no Central Committee. Central Committee is a Gonga so-called Central Committee. Those are matters under Judge Kateneko. Who elected them? Ask each of those so-called leaders, you call leaders, of PF. They are no longer. Ask them how many votes were cast for them in 2021 at the convention at Mulugushi in Lusaka. Zero. People applied to stand as Central Committee members. Each one was made to pay 2,000. Kwacha, over 100 people applied when we got to that convention in 2021, no elections were held. President Lungu just read the list of his ministers and said, these are the Central Committee members. How about those who have applied? Where is the 2,000 they paid? Isn't that obtaining money by force? But you are quiet. What you in mean? 2021. Was, you, did, you did voice up. I did, internally. But they were the leaders. Uh, I, I was a team player. It wasn't time to voice out. I said, let them be. They are the leaders. Uh, but then, so then you recognize them to be leaders. No. Only now are you saying they are gongers? No, no, I didn't recognize them. They were in charge, okay? They were the almighty. To raise those matters at the time, we had the general conference coming. So I didn't want to be the one to make PF lose. I put in 100% in the campaign to make President Lungu win. I even got stabbed just trying to get him to win election material. None of those so called leaders ever called me to death. Not even President Lung called me to find out how much stabbing wound, if it healed or never healed. The same way uh, Kungo was killed on that day in Soroezi, it's the same way I almost died. Just trying to get President Lungu's votes. I was very popular in Matera. I got the, the highest votes in Zambia, but it was fighting for President Lungu at the time. Uh, that was very unpopular, almost got me uh, killed. So I put in my part. I wasn't one of the causes of the loss. Uh, it is these same people like the Honorable Rubinda and the Honorable Luo that kept misleading President Edinga Rungu. Fiance, Fiance, we know. We are winning by landslide. I remember telling uh, Honorable Given Rubinda, he was one of the campaign managers, Sir, it doesn't look like we're going to win. Can we change something quickly in the last three weeks? No, we are winning. It's showing we are winning by two million votes. We lost by one million votes. So if they were not listening, those who were in the driver's seat, I was just a passenger. I put in my part, we lost. Never can anyone blame me. So I didn't want to rock the boat at the time. And I let them. It's only two years after we lost when I realized these people, no election will be held. And it shows. They kept going to President Lungu. Sir, come back, come back. 
those people don't mean well for President Lungu. He's my brother. I feel sad that they forced him to come in the terrain that is rough. The political terrain is very rough. But he has been there. So he retired nicely with a package. He should have been at the farm uh, and, and, and rest mm. and live happily. But they brought him in the firing range. Now you lose all the respect. Uh, here I am having to talk against him. What choice do I have? Because he's in the arena. Let, us, like. let us talk about um, state security. During your you know, extraordinary conference, yeah. uh, police officers were protecting or guarding you know, the premises and making sure that your general conference goes on as planned. And this has raised a lot of you know, questions that uh, this is the first time that a member of parliament is given state security. How do you defend yourself? You see, Kelvin Fokolo, if I always use this example. Uh, if you are a group three, you judge others by the standards in group three. Uh, it's actually kudos to the current government. It's kudos to President H. The Bible tells us you recognize your leaders of the day. Who is the president of Zambia? It's President HH. That is the problem with my colleagues. They have never accepted that we were defeated in 2021. They live in denial. For two years they are in denial. Even now, they haven't accepted that I beat them. I won the general, extraordinary general conference on the 24th of, of August, 2023. They are in denial. You saw how they were acting yesterday in the process even breaking the rules. We have lodged in, the Secretary General of PFA has lodged in with the police a complaint of criminal trespass, burglary, uh, destroying property, and the, the docket, I'm told, is, is been opened, and we're hoping those. And you see people now, when they break rules or laws, like Emmanuel Mwamba, even if he does himself breaking the law. So we've sent that video to the police as evidence. He's breaking the gate. That's not his personal property. That's a, 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 a public, private property. No one is allowed to break anything. So, back to your question. The Zambia police is not a police for the UPNT. The Zambia police was not the police for PF in government. The Zambia police was abused by the PF in government under President Edgar Lungo. They were portrayed to just be the police for the ruling party. No, this is Zambia. It's not about a political party. The Zambia police is a police service for all citizens that need protection. So when I was having that conference, I wrote to them, or the, the, the people, the conveners, wrote to them, we're having this conference, we need to be protected. For sure, the other people, that's why we lost, they believe in violence. They believe in not protecting uh, the constitution of Zambia, breaking the rules. They believe in violence. Uh, so we knew that when they know we're having a meeting, they'll come and disturb us. They've done that before. I've been through this. So we asked to be protected. We gave them enough notice. Even when I was coming to South Africa, uh, from South Africa a few days ago, my supporters said, we want to welcome you, Mr. President. Okay, come. But the airport is not my personal uh, airport. It's not the PF airport. So it's manned and protected by the police. It's a public institution. So uh, we wrote to the police, I'm arriving this time, and uh, a few people, about 100 or so, who are my supporters, want to welcome me because the courts have confirmed me as president here. They said no objection, they came. So, the police, you apply, look at them as police for all of us. Now, my colleagues that go to the police and abusing them, insulting them, accusing them, uh, mistreating them, we saw in the video that young man, uh, what do you call him, uh, Peter Machen, who I put a 20,000, uh, that uh, whoever has information give to the police, so that they arrest him because he was showing violence, behavior at the PF secretary. I want to take this opportunity to even increase that amount from 20,000 to 50,000. Anyone who knows where he is, 
So that is arrested by the police, gives the information to the police, I'll give you 50,000 cash. Because I want to be a PF leader leading by example to show that rebranding, re rebranding, we are moving from Kadaism that made us lose, and not at the PF uh, secretary. So the Zambia police is there for anybody that you're under threat, it's not just there for UPND. And it's a kudos to the UPND, they're allowing the police to protect all people, whether you're UPND or not. Are we likely to see the, you've said kudos to the UPND, are we likely to see them extend state security to other political players? Apart from I don't know. I, I'm not a PF spokesperson. It's how you ask. Let them ask. They, Are you willing to, to to teach them how to ask? No, I'm not a policeman. I, no, 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 no. I, how to I'm ask? A banker. Mm. They should write in advance and be polite. Don't order the police. Eh? We wrote in advance mm. and ask for a service. It's a free service. I didn't pay anything. Just like anywhere, even when you're on the road, when the police catch you, you can speak to them as a Zambian. Uh, uh, don't abuse the police. Write to the police in time. Like they wanted to, uh, uh, what do you call it, a rally in Matero. In your constituency. Yeah, they were just being cunning. Uh, why didn't they go and hold in Kawata where we lost? In Matero, we won a landslide. I gave him a lungu landslide votes in Matero. In Kawata, the MP there, Yenga, lost badly. Even the by election, we lost badly. President Lungu lost in Kawata badly. Why didn't they go and they start mobilizing there? Why mobilize where we are winning? Mbappe is scoring. You want to go and teach him how to score goals? No. <laughs> go and tell those who are hitting the bundu and, and scoring on goals and hitting up up the bar. No, they were playing politics. But instead of writing the police, they were on media abusing the police. So, no, me, I'm happy. I write to the police. Uh, sometimes they say no, by the way, they say no. And I don't want the public to castigate the police. Uh, but when they accept to protect me, I'm a Zambian citizen, I pay tax. You, 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 you talked about your elder brother, whom you served. When you told you to do this, you jumped once, and you've been asking, can I jump uh, three times or four times? He's back in active politics, and um, he wants to serve the biggest opposition. If indeed your elder brother, this year was to call you for a meeting, so that you, you reconcile and continue to present yourselves as a united PF, are you willing to sit with him and discuss matters so that you reconcile? I must tell you, Kelvin, uh, in 2014, we crashed with my brother Edgar Lungu when President Sata died. We went to the convention. I won one convention, apparently won another. We ended up in court. I was defeated. And after that, we reconciled on the uh, prayers day, <coughs> excuse me, and we worked together for the good of PF. And I took him as my president. I put my tail on the back. Despite even knowing I was dribbled, Narisa is champion. Because he's older than me, and the church prevailed, some Catholic priest prevailed on me, he's older than you, just give him a chance. Okay, I sat back. And I campaigned for him in 2015, and he won. Uh, now, after that, when we reconciled, I've never had a personal problem with him. When I forgive or when I, I apologize to somebody, because along the way, I may have said things that were, were not brotherly. So, we reconciled. That's how we ended up starting working together, me as mayor and him as president. Mm. I gave him full loyalty until he lost. Now he's lost. You continue giving him loyalty to somebody who's lost. He's, and he retired. Uh, he's moved on. So we're looking at now the leadership of PF. Now, to answer your question, mm. if he, today I had to meet him in a meeting, it depends what's the objective. If we're meeting as elder brother, we're meeting as a former president of PF and a, a former president of Zambia. He served Zambia for seven years. I have a lot of respect. Uh, any president does good things, and some people say, there are other negative things, but I look at the positive aspects. He did the roads, the bridges, he did that. What if you meet in the name of, uh, you know, building the PF, saving the PF? No, because it can't work, because he's not a member of PF. He resigned. I follow the constitution. I'm not about to break the constitution. 
people meet me, uh, I've been asked by uh, a bishop and another bishop, they want to meet me, I meet people. They are not meeting me as PF, they are meeting me as statesmen or people with uh, wisdom. They are older and they just want to advise. If he wants to advise me, I will meet him. But if he's meeting uh, as PF, as he's been claiming, or he wants to come back, I will advise him first to apply. So we can meet on any other topic, not as him as, as a member of PF. He's not a member of PF. It's not me saying. It's the PF constitution. And if you don't like the PF constitution, it's not my problem. It's your problem. You were almost nine of you that paid the 200,000 quarter to take over from ECA after retirement. Mm -hmm. You are the only one. These others have supported the given Ruvinda, the leadership of given Ruvinda, and Orebo, you know, Nakachinda. What do you think is, uh, you know, keeping them to an extent of uh, continuing to support? And we remember when uh, the former president was announcing his comeback, they were there. And they clapped, and they, they were, were very happy. They were jumping up like Kasaka Kandara. I saw that, and mm. it was very disappointing. Mm. Uh, Chief, Okolo, Chief Okolo, by the way, I forgot to ask. Your last name, Chief Okolo, is from which district? From Northwestern. Northwestern. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ngachi, uh, how do you greet Ndingai, Ngachili. Uh, that said, Chief Okolo, I want to say we're one Zambia, one nation. Mm. But there's a saying in Bemba, okay? First of all, me, I was born in Matero. My parents were born in Northern Land. I consider myself as a, a son of Zambia. All tribes are my tribes, are my intersection. My village is Matero. Uh, but there's a saying in Bema. Uh, they say, A bird sits on the branch of a tree it likes. So th those uh, uh, applicants, the branch, there's a branch for Given and Winda, there's a branch for Mount Sampa, there's a, a branch for Nakachinda, there's a branch for the former president who retired, Edgar Lungu. They can sit on whichever branch they, they want. Mm. Then Sata also taught us, I remember one saying that, meaning support for anyone is voluntary. So if those candidates have opted to support a level of our agenda, which as he did, they didn't, not in PF, because the PF not we karakare, you know that saying that not we karakare pampando. I am the president of PF, elected, it's done and dusted. Anyone who is in denial uh, can go to court. What more uh, proof do they need? All the instruments of power uh, of a party we have taken, we have taken the leader of opposition, we've changed, we have taken the chief whip, we will, uh, leader of opposition will put on Ebo Chavinga, the MP for uh, Mafinga, uh, lead, uh, chief whip we've put the MP for Kantanshi, Olebo Anton Mumba, removing Olebo uh, Kampiongo, and leader of opposition we've removed Olebo Brani Mundubile. The power has changed, what more do you want to see? The parliament, the, I've worked for many institutions, I want to tell you, Kevin, the parliament doesn't work on emotions, mm. it works on facts and records. So when they got the records from the Registrar of Society that the office bearers have changed, then they acted, nothing more. Uh, so we are already on the seat, not uh, the Registrar of Society office bearers have changed. Nothing more uh, instruments of power do you want to see that we are in control. And no one can just wake up and say, no, we have refused. They can refuse as much as they want. They can protest as much as they want. They can sign petition to Sadiq or whatever. I'll be, I'll be here. So, mm -hmm. no, no. Uh, so to answer your question, whoever wants to support us, we are open. Come, we unite. It's not about Miles Sampa. It's about the PF. We want the PF to last. Forever. Mm. The PF, let me make this point very important. The PF is bigger than an individual. It's bigger than Ed Galungu, it's bigger than Mao Samba, it's bigger than Given Rubinda. We want the PF in the UK, Kelvin. There's the Labour Party and the Conservatives. For over 200 or 100 years, this party wins, the other one beats them, they change. In the USA, there's the, uh, the Democrats and the Republicans for Trump. They lose, they win. 
it's the ideology. This is capitalism is social. Uh, it's not about individuals. Bush came and left, and others come and go. Uh, Clinton came and left. Uh, uh, Obama came and left. The parties are, are there. That's what my vision is for the PF. It can last another year, another hundred years, so that I left it for us. Ed, President Ed Garungu was there seven years. He's out. Mao Samp at least is here for three years until 2026 when there's the next general conference. Another person may came, come on, so people should be able to come and go. The party should leave. The people out there should be loyal to PF and not to an individual. Mm. Talking about people being loyal to uh, PF and not individuals, um, as Prime TV, you've run stories of uh, you know structures from different provinces that are denouncing you. Others are saying we are supposed to be the delegates, and all those that we saw representing Muchinga or Northwestern, those were not delegates. Members of Parliament, we've seen 57 of them, are saying we are not with Mao Sampa. Then the question that people are asking is, are you alone? You've uh, put a Secretary General. Others are saying this is the first time that we hear of uh, you know a man called the Morgan Imona. You've changed. You know, leader of the opposition, Orepo Chavinga, is a first comer in parliament. Precisely. That's what rebranding is. We don't want same names, same names. Who, who said we should just be hearing about uh, Kampiongo, Kampiongo, Kampiongo? I mean, PF when in power, it was Kampiongo, Kampiongo, Kampiongo. PF when in opposition, it just be Kampiongo, Kampiongo. What kind of rebranding is that? It was Mundubile, Mundubile. Even in opposition, same names. No. Rebranding, you have to get the names out and bring new names, okay? Uh, we didn't know Nakachinda. Nakachinda is not known. They, they came and imposed him as, a, as SG. That was their type of rebranding. Uh, so we bring fresh blood, okay? Uh, it happened in 2014. Some delegates said that they didn't make it. And uh, some said the convention was by intercity people. Uh, those are the ones that elected President Ed Garungu. That matter we were arguing in court. So if someone didn't make it, I don't know why they didn't make it. It's for them to say why they didn't make it. Didn't they know that there will be a, a general conference extraordinary? We've been talking about it for two, two, two years now. The point is, these are matters that Ole Monakachin has taken to court, Ole Monakachin has taken to court, and we have defended. So those who want to hear, they should look up to the date when the court cases start. Uh, I don't, they should explain themselves when they are not there. Talk there were people mm -hmm. there, they elected, the Registrar of Society has changed names, the courts in, mm -hmm. indirectly have also consented, the parliament, you think all the government institutions can, can be wrong. No. Never undermine government institutions. They, they, their loyalty is not to individuals. Their loyalty is to the law. They operate with the law. Mm -hmm. so, so that so-called, it's very easy. I know how PF politics are. They think always about money. So they get a like hundred thousand, they send it to Kaputa. Hey, which then denounce mouse. We copy the video. That's propaganda. That's what they were doing in power. That's how they used to do towards the general election in 2021. Well, said, they well, why can't you just say that's what you used to do? I know I wasn't in the top. I was just a Kapio Pio Kamea. And they didn't even put him in the central committee themselves, they were running the show. They were doing those propaganda against the opposition, HH. He's nowhere, he's just going to win in southern province. They call him names, they'll doubt all those people. You've seen. They would pay them to say that. What happened? The same northern province, HH won. And I'm glad the 2021 election finished the politics of tribalism. Uh, Zambians now, the youths, they don't care about tribalism. They don't, I've seen a, a, a a renewed attempt from the East, some few misguided elements want to reignite a new type of tribalism. Just because President Lungu is from the East, I've seen people like Mwabi Lungu. Ah, Mao Sampa is nonsensical. Just, just because President Lungu is Lungu, Mwabi Lungu is Lungu, he is not even a PF, he has not even, he's not the judge. I heard the video because he even just thinks, oh, this thing should be in Eastern. No, that's tribalism. We don't want tribalism. So, uh, no, we are on the ground. Why is, if I'm alone, why is it that each time I stand as election, I win in number one in the whole country? If, 
even to answer the other question indirectly, when you are saying you are being sponsored by UPNG, in 2014, the same people I beat them pants down. All of them mentioned them. I beat President Lungu, I beat One Bolubinda, I beat Kambuili, I beat One Bolubinda on an election. The people were there in Kabwe. The records are there. Google and you see. So, who sponsored me then? Was it UPNG? Who was in power? It was the same people. Saturday, the power was in the same uh, minister. I wasn't even a minister. I was just young. But because we endear ourselves, God gave us a skill to be in love with people. You love them and they love you back. So when it's time to give a vote, they give it to, to us. Now because you've been in power, I've beaten the same group. You, you, you've talked about uh, you know changing uh, that uh, when you are in power, certain names were very you know uh, loud. And now if, if in the opposition, it's time to change the names. You've changed the leader of uh, the opposition. You've changed uh, the, the, the chief whip. Where are you taking these people? Are they still your members of the PF, or you are chasing them because they are not used to it? No, no. You see. Uh, the party is bigger than individual. Mm. I'm just a leader of this period. So their loyalty should be with the party. The only two people were expelled by the general conference was uh, uh, Mr. Nakachinda and Lone Bolubinda because they didn't want the general conference and the other reasons that were given. Others are PF members and have an olive branch to everybody. It's competition. You win, you lose. You win some, you lose some. And, and, and I'm opening up to them. Let's work together for the good of the party. So, Onebo Kampiongo is uh, uh, still a member of parliament for Shiwangandu. Uh, he's got some wisdom. I have a lot of respect for him. He's got a lot of experience. But he's, he's just not the chief whip. Should we just be in PF because when, only when you have a position? No. Have your positions in PF, lost position, and I, I hold them back again. That's politics, give and take. They are all members of the PF, and I'm asking them, let's work together. And it's an olive branch. I have no grudge against anyone, whether you supported me or not, but our loyalty is to the party. Don't put the loyalty to the one you wanted to win. They didn't win this time. I won this time. Like, it, like in 2014, I didn't win. President Lungu won. Uh, so let's work together. Uh, but if somebody is insisting to go, like I told you, Sata told us, if they refuse to work with you. Remember, in, there is a history in PF. In 2005, 80% of the MP abandoned Sata and went to the UPND under the NCC. Sata just remained with the. That's why I have a lot of respect for my older sister, Honorable Jim Kapata. Um, she stayed with him. Others went to get money and denounced Sata, called him names, uh, and almost tried to get the PF from him. He, he, I remember calling him, sir, just to be concerned with his MP. He didn't want to hear that. He just went with three, four, five MPs. And where we are now, those who left PF, they are nowhere. They are out of the political equation. When we held the elections in 2006, they all lost. In Matero, I beat Odebo uh, Sinyangwe, uh, Faustina Sinyangwe. She was one of them that abandoned Sata halfway and, and called him names and didn't have loyalty to, uh, to the party and the leader at the time. So Sata remained with a few and PF blossomed. You know, PF is like an ego. Ego ngayakota, ego chidia, you know the, the, the bait. Uh, after a while, it's paramount. When flying around for a long time, the wings become weak, they are long, they can't even flap properly, it can't rise up. You know what it does? It goes and hides itself in a tree, pulls out all the wings, and remains with nothing, only a few, and then they start growing, the new one. When they grow, then it flies again and goes higher. That's what PF has done. <clears throat> Get rid of the tired legs. Uh, not that we don't want them. They have to be advisors. The trouble is, people are tired. Nana kauntu can't even run. No kupe makuti mama na le shupika. But you are never able to touch. Ni marathon. You are never able to conquer. No rufumo can't even run. 
and yet behind the young youths, they try to bypass him. Wow, stay back. I'm in charge. But I refuse to No, that's being greedy. Go back. <laughs> the youths <laughs> with the fresh legs, substitutes. Fume ni kwa nini? Namba biate yako. Iwe kama ni pambenge. Olo mchitenge. Be advisor. No manana kwa mtu. I refuse to But what was to play the whole game. Ninja time. We need to survive. If President Agaide Chilema was to appoint you as minister in the new Dawn administration, would you accept? If President HH had to offer me to be minister, I would say no. I've passed first of all the stage of minister. I'm a leader of a political party called Patriotic Front, PF. We are rebuilding, rebranding, so that we are a formidable a force in 2026, so that we are a formidable force in 2021 and in 2036 uh, or 37. We are opposition. I'm in politics not to make money. This house we are at here, I bought it when I was a banker, I think this was in 2003, 2004. I bought this house from Invest Trust, it was uncompleted. It was uh, uh, one of the possessed at the time, and slowly but sure we are here. Point is, I'm not in politics to make money. I don't get formed to my company and do business with government. I believe we leave that to non-politicians. We are here to do a service. So, uh, no, I would say no. Even if he offered me vice president, it's not available now because there's a running mate until the end. If we, let's assume it was available, I would still say no. I'm not here just to be uh, on top. I'm here to play politics of democracy. They are in the ruling. They need a formidable opposition party. And the biggest opposition party is the PF which I'm now the leader, will give them checks and balances on behalf of the people, to speak for the people. Remember when I was uh, uh, appointing Honorable Chavinga as leader of opposition, I told him, you are in there not uh, as a praise and worship for the ruling party. You have to give them checks and balances on behalf of the people, put them on their toes, remind them on their promises, but do it respectfully. Don't be personal. Our friends, the other people uh, who we have moved away, they started taking it personal. This is not a personal affair. You have to give checks and balances objectively. So no, I'm PF and I'll always be PF. Up to 2026, I'll be the candidate. And be, if we win, I'll be the president of Zambia. If we don't win, and the central committee of, and the people of, uh, of PFT want me, I will remain as opposition leader. I'm not here for personal benefit. Those who rush to be ministers, uh, it's because they want personal benefit. By the way, Kelvin, do you know that the position of leader of opposition is ministerial position? I saw the letter of appointment from parliament for Honorable Robert Chavinga on Friday. He shared it with me. They have given him a contract. I looked at the terms and conditions. <laughs> they are just for ministers. Uh, I must even tell you there is even in there you can get a loan of $80,000 for a car. So Ray Bocharina will get another car and you'll get a house, you'll get uh, two security guards, you'll get two maids paid for by government. If I was doing this for personal benefit, I should have given the leader of position to myself. No, it's not about game. It's about the party. So I'm not here uh, as leader of PF to any any money. Even the money. Uh, I'm taking your time on this question, but very important. I want to announce the MPs. All of us will pay six thousand per month from Parliament. Times fifty-nine. It will give you close to three hundred thousand kwacha per month. Those who are, who are digested the PF, that money they would share it, uh, withdraw it, or to come meeting here, or travel right there. I want to announce now that that money, starting this month, when it's collected 300,000 from the MP donation, 50% of that will get it and distribute it to the provinces equally. Send it to Eastern, Northern, Southern, to the structures. The 150,000 divided by the, the structures that are denouncing you. 
you've just given me a very important opportunity also to announce here the PF Constitution. Remember, I'm not running the PF from my head, so mm -hmm. the Constitution. Article 77 of the PF Constitution, Clause 58 on district, it says that officials have three years' mandate. Okay? Three years' mandate. So if you're elected today, add three years. After three years and three years, you stop being a, a, an official election should be held. So all the districts and constituencies, they were elected in 2020, 2019. Add three years from now, you get 2023. So as we stand now, all those officials, the, by act of time, an act of the law, three years has expired. So they are no longer PF officials. Uh, we are now commencing the process of elections at the branches and at the wards. So we elect the branch officials, then they elect the wards, then the constituencies, then the district. So I encourage members now to start campaigning because elections are starting the wards and branches all the way to the top. So no, to answer your question, that's why even the vacuum was very uh, huge. So the, the president, Ed Garungu, resigned, there was a vacuum. The Secretary General, Davis Muira, resigned, there's a vacuum. Uh, the chairman, Samuel Cooper, resigned, there was a vacuum. The Central Committee was not elected properly in 2021, there was a vacuum because they were all illegal. The officials in the district and constituents and wards were elected before 2020, plus three years, they are all expired. So the PF was vacuumed from presidential position all the way to the branches. So we are now starting to elect from branches all the way up until 2026 when the general conference will be held. You are saying you are the president of the biggest opposition with numbers in parliament. There is, uh, you know, a petition and uh, a motion is believed that it's going to be moved by an independent member of parliament, Nkana, member of, uh, of parliament, Bino Mpundu, to impeach the speaker of the National Assembly and almost, I'm very careful to use, almost all PF members of parliament have signed and they have agreed that they are going to move a motion and support Bino Mpundu to impeach the Speaker of the National Assembly, Nelly Muti. What is it? First of all, let me start by preamble and tell you that impeachment process is a BID. In Parliament, mm -hmm. we have say we call it BID, brought in dead. Uh, it has no grounds. Okay, first of all, to have a simple majority, uh, you need a threshold number of MPs. Whatever that number is, when you look at those petitions, the signatures, they had that number. But in between, some MPs are in my inbox. They called me, uh, Mr. President, we've seen our signature. That signature is not mine, it was forged. Others are coming to me and say, no, we were forced to sign it. Only Bochi Totela was the very destructive MP. He was the one forcing the MPs, sign up, sign up. Do you have evidence? I, I do. Uh, they, they told me, they can testify. So most of them were telling me they were made to sign at gunpoint. They were being forced. Uh, and Honorable Imanga, we saw it on social media, he himself issued a statement. Because he didn't sign. He didn't sign. Well, but these other signed. But why did they put his name if he didn't sign? No, even the ones who signed, those, some are saying their signature was forged and some are saying they were forced to sign it. Some are even saying, I didn't even know what I was signing for. Only which they just forced me outside. Sign up, sign up. Uh, that as it may be, Kelvin, uh, I'm very confident that will go. But as Zambia, we should learn to celebrate our own. The charge on the speaker, according to their petition, is that she does not allow debate uh, divergent debate, and I think it's coming from Honorable Kam, uh, uh, Kangombe. Uh, first of all, was that an isolated incident? One. Two, is it every day like that? Two, uh, uh, thirdly, this is the speaker who just won an award two weeks ago as the best speaker in the Commonwealth. Commonwealth is all world. They met in Ghana, and they, uh, they uh, elected her or or chose her as the best speaker in the whole world. They all are celebrating about Madam Speaker Nelly Muti. 
You know me, I don't fear anyone. Even me, I criticize where there is due. Uh, it's due to criticize and I praise. I'm not a Bubuzela. Even my own party, I would criticize President Sata, President Lungu, well inside. Even President HHTV, that's something I don't agree with you. Hear me say it out. But I'm not shy to praise. Even the speaker, uh, I can criticize out if it's due. But I bring these facts. I was at the International uh, Parliamentary uh, Union Conference in Rwanda, Angola, only last week. Uh, she was there also, well respected. Uh, she was one of the campaign managers for the Speaker of Tanzania to take over uh, that institution. There's never been a female. It was formed in the 1800s. And because of her influence, that partly that lady, the Speaker of Tanzania, won. And she's the president of, of, of that institution. And she's a woman. I'm very surprised that amongst the list there, we have women decampaigning or wanting to impeach a fellow woman when they say that a woman is their own enemies. We, we speak for them. They've taught me at the pan Africa 50 50 representation. Uh, now we have a speaker who's a woman. The same women are trying to say she should be removed. <laughs> Shouldn't they support a fellow woman? Uh, so, no. Um, it's a, it's a Supporting a fellow woman, even if uh, she's doing the opposite, even if she's allow, even if she's not allowing, you know, uh, debates to flow. No, that's uh, that's debatable. Me, I believe she allows. She gives the opportunity to everybody. And if there was one isolated incident, didn't warrant that. She's, I've seen and been uh, an MP over some uh, speakers. They were good in their own way. I've followed. The history of speakers, we have one of the best speakers we've had in the country. Let's not abuse her. And she's very uh, objective. Uh, but anyone on any position, if they stray, we can remind them. But it doesn't call uh, impeachment. Even as it were, most MPs, I should tell you, about 15 PF MPs have already come to my inbox and said they, will, they are not part of, uh, of this process. We'll see on the day. Mm. Uh, let's talk about, uh, you know, uh, how, how is the picture looking like of the PF? You've talked about elections at branch, ward, constituents at district level. Again, within the party, there are those that are opposing your leadership, that you've just imposed yourself as a president, you're not recognized. How is the picture looking like? of the PF in the near future and up to build up to 2026. Unless they say President Lungu imposed himself in 2014, President Lungu imposed himself in 2021. No, I got elected by officials from all 10 provinces. But that's a matter in courts. They should take in interest in the court when it comes up. Uh, that would, uh, Those issues have already been brought up. The picture is looking very bright for PF. The PF genuine members, not the Akawawa who are banned, who are money mongers of politics. When you see them go at the secretariat yesterday, no, they are not campaigning from, speaking from their heart. Money was sent to them, a lot of cash, like 50,000 kwacha in each constituency. Some even pocket some of it. So that is what uh, people are paid to do that. The reality out there, I'm getting a lot of us phone calls, inbox from all the 10 provinces. We are happy. Don't allow them. They stepped on us for years. Their time has come to an end. Uh, all over the districts. Those you are seeing there have been sent 20,000 to say that. And, and when I go there, there will be the same people that will receive me. The future of PF is looking very good, not only in the next three years, the next 10, 20, and 50 years. Mm -hmm. Because we are setting the record straight that it's not about individual, it's an institution. Loyalty should be to an institution, not to an individual. As we are winding down, uh, for example, some of you know, PF factions are saying you received money from a named businessman, Diego Cassidy, and you are given one billion kwacha to destabilize, you know, the PF. 
Are you a hired gun? Is more samba, you know, hungry for hungry for money? And uh, are you? Why have you gone to that extent of uh, you know selling your conscience for one billion to destabilize and destroy the people? I wish I had held that kind of money in my life. I've never held one billion in my in my whole life. Uh, like I said earlier, money doesn't move me. Uh, I know Diego Cassilli, uh, when I was a banker, he, he, was, he started Amanita, he started that palm, uh, uh, palm tree farm in Kanchibia, he's the man behind uh, East Park Mall, he's the man behind the Wanika Mall, he's the man behind the mall in Ndola, Woodland Stadium has been refurbished, I'm a supporter of the city of Lusaka. I've uh, been given uh, free tickets there as mayor, so I know him, he's a Zambian, uh, came here as a, as a young man, so he's one of the few businessmen that I know is genuine, doesn't steal from government. When I was mayor, that bridge when it was being built at East Park Mall, he, he made an application to council that he wanted a road through that uh, fly over so that it goes straight in the mall. So that people from Ngombe, from Olympia, Kalun, they can go straight in the mall. The government of the day refused. Uh, uh, they just didn't like him. Uh, President Lungu didn't like him. Uh, the minister, uh, Charles Bada, didn't like him. The more I presented, the more they rebelled him. I don't know. Me, I don't inherit enemies. If you are, you are enemies yourself, I don't inherit. Uh, I just know him that He's one of the most hard-working businessmen in, in Zambia and makes genuine money. Don't people see what goes on at, at East Park? There is pure business. Uh, do you see, is I, if Atoy had to offer me, first of all, because I didn't steal money from government, I didn't get tenders, I don't steal, so I, I'm a politician. You need networking to people to support you. They believe you, 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 you will have good policies. Um, that's how PF made it in 2011. We were supported by businessmen. Diego Cassidy was not one of them. There are many, and I know them because President Saddam sent me. Uh, I've, I've made networking to a lot of businessmen. Other than uh, Cassidy, there are others like Marco Donnell, some of the most hardworking businessmen in Zambia. If I told they had to offer me money to support PF, I've, I've not asked them, they haven't given me. What is supporting me in this fight is the constitution of the PF. I don't need money to argue the constitution. It's there in black and white. They wanted to break it. Uh, that's how the revolution is won, not by money. Uh, we won in 2011, not by money. PF had a lot, uh, UP, MMD had a lot of money. They were putting Arab t-shirts on trees. That's the formula President Lungu came in 2021. Too much money, people were wearing schooners or, or slippers like this with Ed Galungu there. We lost badly. So no, I'm not moved by money. And them, who sponsors them? Is it the people who capture state uh, 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 institution? Is it the people who are buying uh, uh, fire, fire, what do you call it? Fire brigade, for fire, fire machines for $1 million? Is it people who are um, state capture? They captured the state. You had the same... Uh, uh, company of Asian origin, everybody knows them. I won't mention them now. All the fertilizer contract was with them, all the oil contracts was with them, uh, everything else it was just with one or two. Uh, those are the ones that sponsor them. The money they sent to the secretary there to bring the, those stats there, it came from them. If they want, dare me, I can expose who those are. That's dirty money. I don't get sponsored by dirty money, I refuse it. I, I, I speak to, to people, we campaign using the message, the message of PF, we are not capitalists, we are not socialists, we just try to do what can help the poor. If the capitalist businessman uh, will employ the poor, we will talk to the capitalist businessman to employ the poor. Uh, if the poor need the help, we use our party to help them. So we, are, we, we, we get the best of both worlds. We are not aligned, we are not capitalists, we are not West, we are not socialists, we are not uh, the East, we are pro poor. And our, our theme now, our slogan for PF, which is the left with us, we have adjusted it a bit. More jobs, lower taxes, 
because he wants to support the businessman, not to overpay tax when we're in government. Lower taxes, more jobs, they, the businessman, should provide jobs for the poor, more jobs for people employed, and everybody, and more money in the pockets. But the PF under President Lungu, it was more money in a few people's pockets, more money in Nakachinda's pocket, more money in Bomani's pocket, more money in Lubinda's pocket, but no money in the general grassroots. So now we are saying more money in everyone's pocket. We want all the grassroots also to have money in their pockets. Mm. That's why we are. No, I, I am not for hire. I don't get moved for money. The bit that I earn, I share it with people. I love to give people. I'm a politician who is not here to make money. For Anything me. you see here mm. was bought before I joined the PF. I didn't make one way. No company, no contract, no tender. Uh, just living to help people. I'm a servant of the people. There will be a by-election in Northern Province. Campaigns are on. What is the position of the PF? Mm. And what is your way? Because we know that Northern is still a stronghold. Yeah. We don't have such thing as strongholds. We are, our strongholds are all the ten provinces. We are going with equal measures. We not play tribal politics. We will campaign in southern, in western, and everywhere, and eastern. So there's a by-election in northern. Uh, the SG is working on it. We are trying. To, we are we are speaking to the local people on the ground. Not structures. Structures have expired. Anyone who claims to be a structure, tell them. Time has expired. Their term was for three years, and they were elected before 2020, so it's expired. There's new election. So we speak to the people on the ground, speak to the leaders, uh, religious leaders, speak to the chiefs we can. We get a candidate, and we're going to file in. And the file in will be signed by the SG of PF, Mr. Nwana. And the symbol is Pawato. Other masqueraders can also take a, a candidate. I can assure you they will be rejected because they are gongers, because they are not at the register of society. They are not bona fide. Uh, they will try to fight, but my friends are good at fighting, losing battles. They, they are in denial. But I'm asking them to, to, to accept and work together. I am not discriminatory. We forget the past and work together. But if someone insists, as Zimbabwe, that's what we like. If the game is tough, that's when we play better. And that's when we score. We don't like easy games. Mr. President, thank you so much for affording us an opportunity to talk to you as we've been looking at the future of the BA. Kelvin Chifokolo Nasakili Lemwane. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you, Prime TV. And good evening and good night, everyone who's tuned in. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.